to this training video on collecting and preparing samples for the Acula SARS-CoV-2 test. This video will cover two of the steps required to run the Acula SARS-CoV-2 test. You will be using the swab provided in the test kit to collect a nasal sample from both nostrils of the patient. The swab is then prepared in the SARS-CoV-2 buffer. In other training videos, we will cover the loading of the sample into the test cassette and reading the results. To collect the sample, carefully insert the swab approximately one inch into the patient's nostril or until you feel slight resistance. Rotate the swab firmly against the side of the nasal wall for 10 to 15 seconds. Remove this swab from the nostril and insert into the other nostril of the patient. You'll repeat this sampling procedure. That is, carefully insert the swab one inch into the patient's nostril or until you feel slight resistance. Rotate the swab firmly against the side of the nasal wall for 10 to 15 seconds. Ideally, this swab will be immediately prepared in the SARS-CoV-2 buffer. We will go over that procedure in a moment. Alternatively, the swab may be stored at room temperature in its original packaging for up to two hours or longer if refrigerated. Check your product insert for timing and storage conditions. To prepare the sample, acquire one SARS-CoV-2 buffer vial and label with the patient's name and collection date. Uncap the vial and insert the nasal specimen into the SARS-CoV-2 buffer. Rotate the swab five times, pressing against the wall of the vial. Replace the buffer cap. This prepared buffer should be tested immediately, but may be stored at room temperature for up to 24 hours. Further storage conditions are outlined in the product instructions. Welcome to this training video on running the Acula SARS-CoV-2 test. This video will cover loading the prepared patient sample into the test cassette and initiating an assay. You should have already watched the training on collecting and preparing the patient samples. A subsequent video will explain reading the results. If you have not already done so, you will need to set up the Acula or Solaris dock. To do so, place the dock on a flat, stable surface. Connect the two cord pieces together, plug in the dock, and plug it in to an electrical outlet. The dock will automatically turn on and show a series of startup messages. When you are ready to run a test, open the dock lid by pressing in the black button and opening the lid. Let's get acquainted with the transfer pipette. There is a transfer pipette included with every cassette, as well as a bag of extras in the kit box. This will be used to place an exact volume of prepared patient sample into the test cassette. You will use the top bulb to draw liquid into the pipette stem. Extra liquid will move from the pipette stem into the overflow chamber. This is normal. If this is new to you, we suggest you practice with water before pipetting with patient sample. Now we'll proceed on learning how to start a test. Remove the test cassette and pipette from the foil pouch. Label with patient name and testing date and then insert into the dock. The dock will read SARS-CoV-2 CAS inserted and add sample then close lid. At this point, do not close the dock lid or remove the foil tab. Take a prepared sample buffer that is one that already contains patient sample and invert to mix. Remove the cap and then fill the transfer pipette by firmly squeezing the top bulb and placing the pipette into the sample. Slowly release the bulb while the tip is still in the sample. This will pull liquid into the pipette stem. Make sure there are no air bubbles in the lower part of the pipette and visualize that liquid is in the overflow chamber. Remove the foil tab covering the sample port on the test cassette and discard. Then insert the pipette tip containing sample into the bottom of the sample port until resistance is met. Squeeze the top bulb of the pipette 
firmly to dispense sample into test cassette. There will be a small amount of sample remaining in the overflow chamber. This is normal. When prompted, close the lid of the dock to automatically begin the test. The dock screen will briefly display that the test has started and then show a countdown showing the remaining time. It will take approximately 30 minutes for the test to complete. During this time, do not move, unplug, or open the lid of the dock while the test is running. Upon completion, the dock screen will read, test complete, read results. Open the dock lid and remove the test cassette. Interpret and record the results. We will review how to interpret results in the next training video. But note that results should be interpreted within one hour of test completion. You should discard the test cassette into a biohazard container once results are recorded. Welcome to this short video on interpreting the Acula SARS CoV-2 test results. Results are interpreted visually by assessing the absence or presence of a blue test line. First, we'll get oriented with these blue test lines. The lines will appear at three line positions, C, T, and NC. The C position is for the positive control. The T is the test line for SARS-CoV-2, and the NC is the negative control. The test you see here shows the presence of a test line at the T position, the position for SARS-CoV-2. Here are positive test results for SARS-CoV-2. Be sure to look closely when interpreting the results. Any shade of a blue test line at the T test position is a valid result that is interpreted as a positive for SARS-CoV-2 viral RNA. Note, a valid positive result is with or without the presence of a control line at the C position and any shade of a blue test line. Look closely when interpreting negative results as well. The absence of any shade of a blue test line at the T test position and the appearance of any shade of a blue control line indicates a negative result for SARS-CoV-2 viral RNA. The final type of test result you may see is an invalid. These samples should be repeated. The appearance of an NC line invalidates all results. The appearance of no test line is also considered an invalid. Low rates of invalids are expected, possibly caused by incorrect pipetting or sample composition, among several reasons. In these cases, the sample can be rerun with a fresh test cassette if the prepared sample has been stored for less than 24 hours at room temperature. Alternatively, a fresh sample can be